Shout out to the homie Frank Kane, man. Um, I was just looking at your page, and uh, you know, I saw that you say you had seven days clean. And that's a miracle. Um, I sniffed heroin. You might not know my story, but I sniffed heroin from 1991 to 2008. And you know, a lot of people be like, "How you get off of it? How you get off of it?" Man, to be honest with you, man, I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, you know, I knew intellectually and creatively, I was hanging around people. Uh, I would have never hung around had I not been on drugs. Um, you know, and a lot of people say, and they, they say, well, drug is a drug. And, you know, for me, I had to smoke marijuana to get off that shit because I had been on heroin, so not not advising anybody who's coming off of drugs to use anymore, but I had been on heroin for so long that, uh, you know, my nerves was bad for like, shit, maybe five years, man. I had been on drugs for so long. He was like, man, you it, it take you uh three days to kick. Man, it took me six months just to get my sleeping pattern back. It took me, man, it might have took me a year to feel like myself, you know. And after I got over there, I was like, man, there's no way I'm putting that shit up my nose no more. There's no way I'm even dealing with people who sell drugs or pop pills. And I really don't like drug addicts because I, I used to be one. And I know a drug addict will steal anything, do anything, or say anything to get anything. And, you know, uh, nothing changed until I decided to change my mind. You know, and this is for Frank. Um, you can't even change your clothes until you first change your mind. I'm not preaching to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you my story and how I dealt with addiction and how I came through it. And hopefully it can help you. Um, I see you got a dog, you got a girlfriend, uh, looks like you got a supportive family. Those are all uh, good things to have when you're going through any struggle. Um, as for myself, I didn't have none of that, so it was different for me. But what I will tell you is, while you're going through your struggle, find your purpose. You know, something, you have to do something with that time. And the more you sit around and, you know, not doing anything or not being productive at doing anything, that's the more time that you will just sit, wonder, wait, and think about drugs. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it plays a huge role on your mind. You know, but when you, you have to take like all that trash you had in your mind, you got to take that. Uh, put it in the recycle bin, get rid of it, and then uh, reinsert um, positivity. You know, one thing they do say in NA is people, places, and things. That's pop. That's real positive information because you have to replace all those things. You have to replace. The old people with new people. You have to replace the old places with new places. And you have to replace the old things with new things. You know, like when I was a... I started hand making clothes uh, after I got off of drugs. I dropped my first movie like the month I stopped sniffing heroin. Um, you know, did you know the most successful people artist-wise? Picasso... Uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, almost all musicians uh, were drug addicts. It's just that a lot of them don't live to be ex-drug addicts. A lot of them die uh, doing their addiction because of their affliction. Um, and I'm just saying this video, uh, you can make it, bro. You know, believe, and what you need is support. You don't need people damning you, saying you this, that, What you need is support, and, and I support you, bro. Um, you have my overwhelming support. You know, you comment on my page with dignity and respect, and I, and I, 
I respect that, man. You know, I take that over money. I go ahead and get my own money. But I just want to let you know, man, that somebody, it's four or five o'clock in the morning here in Richmond. And I was just looking at your video and was like, let me share this with this brother. Somebody cares, man. That person is me. You follow me? Because I used to be you. You know, I know what you're going through, whether it's pills or or, or, or street heroin. It's it's all a it's all a opiate. It's all the same thing. So I just want to let you know, man, that uh, you know, one's a cow. You know, and I'm making this video for you, man. Stand up, stay strong. You know, and I see you got positive people, um, you know, posting positive comments on your page, and we all need that encouragement, man. Nobody needs to be discouraged. So yeah, man, your boy Wands of the Dawn, YouTube King. Much peace, blessings, and love. I'm going to name this video for you.